everybody, welcome back and happy October. So I really wanted to be something sexy and glowy, so I thought why not be a Egyptian cat that over highlighted. I hope you guys enjoy this look. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Alright guys, we're going to be starting off using the Morphe 350 palette, and I'm going to be using this really pretty burnt orange shade, and I'm going to be dusting that in my crease, just because I'm going to be going in next with a bronze shade, and I need it to have something to stand next to and make it look even that much more prettier than it already is. So I'm going to be going in with a MAC pigment. This is Reflex Bronze. I'm not totally sure if they have that still. And I'm going to be mixing it with MAC Mixing Medium to create a glitter liner. I'm going to be applying this with a Real Techniques accent brush and I'm creating a wing with it. I'm starting by flicking it out towards my temple and then drawing it back and building my wing as big as I want it. And I want it big since it is Halloween. So um, my tip with this is to let it dry before you add any more shadows if you choose to do that. Now I'm going to be taking a flat definer brush by Sigma and cleaning my wing up with some makeup remover. Boom. Now I'm going to be priming my face with Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector. That was my phone, sorry. And I'm going to be using that as my primer. I'm going to let that set. Now I'm going to be filling in my brows with Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. I wanted a more fuller, dramatic brow, so I made them very straight and very thick. And looking back at it, I was like, mm, they need to be darker. So I went in with her cream gel liner in black and went over top of that just to give a more striking appearance when we were finished with them. Now I'm cleaning, oh my gosh, my phone. Silence. Now I'm cleaning up my brows with some concealer on a Morphe flat definer brush. And I'm going to be blending that out with my fingers just cause I don't want any harsh concealer underneath my brows. <laughs> I'm going for a more natural brow, if you will. Very daytime, very believable, very soft. Now I'm going to be applying MAC Studio Tech Foundation to my face. I am dry, so I like using a lot of Fix Plus with this foundation just because it will give it a more beautiful glow and also having that Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector underneath will also help with the radiance of my complexion. So I'm just going to be buffing that in with a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush and I will continue to spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus just because, again, I am dry so I do need the hydration. Now I'm going to be highlighting my face with a concealer that is clearly a few shades lighter than my skin tone, the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, a V under my eye up towards the temples, and a little bit on my chin. I am going in with this bright concealer just because when I contour, everything is going to come together seamlessly. And I am using a damp beauty blender to blend this out just because a damp beauty blender is my favorite tool for blending out concealer. I'm now setting my under eye with translucent powder. Make sure you dab and press. Do not just swipe under your eye or else you will start to move the concealer and also set it at the same time and it will push it into your fine lines. So now I'm creating and looking down a lot because I'm looking at my reference picture. I always suggest having a reference picture of a look that you're creating just so you can see all the little details while you're creating it. And I am creating the little platform to where my whiskers will be. I'm using my beauty blender to kind of smooth out all that concealer and I'm cleaning up the edges with a little bit more foundation. Never worry about getting it right the first time because you can always go back and clean it up just like the wing liner and just like this little part right here. Now I'm going to be contouring my face with the chocolate shade from the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in Medium. Applying that to the hollows of my cheeks around the outer perimeter, temples, forehead, and jawline. And I'm using a angled kabuki brush from Sigma, the F84. This is my favorite brush to blend out cream contour under my cheekbones and under my jawline. This cream is a bit on the drier side, so if you are dry and you want to use this, I would suggest using either Max Fix Plus on your brush or adding a drop of beauty oil to make it have a little bit more slip and make it a little bit more blendable. Now I switch to a small duo fiber brush from Morphe just to blend out and have a little bit more control around my forehead and around my temples. 
Now I'm going to be deepening that contour with the powder contour kit from Anastasia. I don't really need to set my contour just because I don't really have a problem with creams and liquids moving on my face since I am dry. My face kind of just holds on to it. I just want a little bit more dramatic contour just because this is a Halloween look. So you can choose to make it as dramatic or as subtle as you want. I want to go all the way in since this is a Halloween look. Now I'm going to be taking a little translucent powder and setting that upper lip area. <laughs> and I'm going to be taking the same burnt orange shade from the Morphe M50 palette and adding that to my lower lash line. And I didn't think that was enough, so I'm going to be adding uh, Coco Bear and Bitten from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to be blending that under my under eye just to make it a little more sultry, a little bit more smoky. And now I'm going to be stamping Corrupt, which is a matte black eyeshadow from Makeup Geek as well. And I'm going to be blending that out with a Sigma pencil brush. Just buffing that out. Now I'm going to be taking Cryolin's face paint in black. And this is a water activated face paint. So it's not the same as a um, Halloween face paint, if that makes sense. Those are creams and those need to be set with powders so they won't slip and slide all over your face. This is water activated so it dries and once it dries it sets so unless you're going to be sweating then you should set it with a powder so i'm creating the nose i just made a little dip and i'm filling it in and i'm setting it with a black eyeshadow not necessarily again to set it but to make it pitch black and i made sure to get all up in my nose just because you don't want to look up or you don't want someone to see you and see the flesh around your nose now i'm taking nyx liquid liner and it's pretty obvious I just drew a line straight down and now I'm adding my whiskers because I am a cat now I'm gonna be filling in my upper lip with a cream eyeliner this is the same one from Anastasia that I used on my brows I suggest using a black liquid lipstick if you have it I couldn't find mine so I'm just using what I had on hand and I'm gonna be adding little flicks from the corner of my mouth out with a NYX liner and again cleaning that up with a flat definer brush with a little bit of concealer now I'm using the same gel liner to create a little flick where I stopped the eyeshadow on my lower lash line. So I'm just drawing a line out and then I found it easier to work with the NYX liner to fill it in so I suggest using that. And again, don't worry about getting it right the very first time. Don't worry about getting like that kill shot in. Just uh, try to make it as even as possible and then you can always go back and correct it with concealer like I do later. And now I'm just adding a little bit more black because I thought that it needed to have a little bit more drama. Adding black to your waterline or your lower lash line will just amp up any look that you choose to create. It'll make it a little bit more smoky and a little bit more sultry. Now I'm taking the same liquid shimmering skin perfecter and applying it all over my body and going over top of that with MAC Gold Deposit which is a beautiful golden highlight. So I'll just be dusting that all over my chest. Bam! Looking golden already. Next I'm going to be going in with Ben Nye Lumia Luxury Powder in the shade uh, Aztec Gold. I really wanted it to be more on the true golden side and not like an old antique gold or a bronzy gold, just straight up that Egyptian gold that we're so used to seeing. So just dusting out literally all over my face and all over my body. Next I'm going to be highlighting the high points of my face with a Bobbi Brown highlighter. So I'm hitting on the tops of the cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, chin, all those places that you would normally highlight. And you know, you can go overboard because it's Halloween, there's no such thing as going overboard. I wanted a peachy nude bottom lip so I put on Velvet Teddy from MAC and now I'm going to be taking a shower in MAC Fix Plus to give myself a all over glow and you are done. Thank you so much for watching and have a safe Halloween. Going in. I'm going in. I want my ears to be strobing. Strobe, bitch. Mm. Oh, oh, oh my god. I thought that was a spider. I was. Uh, uh. <laughs> mm.